Hello, my name is Barbara DeWitt. I'm a National Wildlife Federation steward with the Broward County Audubon Society. Hummingbirds are cold-blooded, so they sleep at night when the temperatures drop. They need that warm weather to get their, their blood rushing and their wings beating. Uh, and the flowers, many of the flowers too, are uh, opened in the daytime so that's when they would, would be feeding on them versus moths who many feed at night. But the hummingbirds, when the, the sun drops, they find a tree or on a branch and they uh, hang on to the branch and they go into what's called a, a torpor where their temperature drops and they conserve their energy. Just before the temperatures drop and the, and the uh, sun goes down, the hummingbirds feed, um, do a, like a feeding frenzy to store up enough nutrition in themselves to make it through the night in the cold temperatures. And sometimes you'll find hummingbirds on a branch that are upside down and they're hanging on but they've loosened their grip a little bit and they're still in their torpor but they're waiting for the, the temperatures to rise in the morning so they can they'll get their blood rushing and their wings beating and they and for the flowers to open and the the sun to come out to warm them up so they can start feeding again they have two feeding two major feeding times one is in the morning and then they'll be resting some of the daytime and then in the afternoon when the temperatures uh, level off and uh, they'll feed again do another round of feeding before uh, perching and sleeping Occasionally people find hummingbirds uh, hanging from a tree and uh, still uh, gripping the branch and they'll think that they're dead and sometimes they'll bring them in thinking it's too cold or uh, they're, they wonder if they might revive or something and they're just in their torpor and in the morning when the weather uh, gets warmer they'll start flapping in their wings and sure enough they'll fly off to feed again.